Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Adnan here back with another awesome video. In this video I'll show you guys. How to flash any Xiaomi device. Step by step guide. So without any further delay. Let's begin. Step 1. Download all the necessary files from the description box below. The TWRP image is not related with this procedure. So, ignore it. Let me clear that. The setup files are the same for all the devices but the ROM files will be different for different devices. I'm using the MIA2 Lite. So I've downloaded the stock ROM of MIA2 Lite. You have to download the stock ROM of your device. Just navigate to the official website. You'll get your stock ROM there. Extract the ROM file and place it wherever you want. I've already extracted the ROM file. So I'm not gonna do it again. On step 2, first extract the setup files. Install the ADB driver. Right click on the ADB setup and run it as administrator. This will pop up something like this. Type Y and hit enter. Again type Y and hit enter then again Y and hit enter. This will pop up a new window like this. Click next and finish the setup. Second thing you have to do in step 2 is Copy the platform tools folder to C drive As you can see I've already copied the platform tools folder to C drive So I won't do it again Now, what are the other two files for? If your ADB driver is not installing, or, if your ADB driver is not showing, follow the screenshots to fix that issue. Sometime it happens that the ADB driver is installed but not working properly. Open this app and find your device driver. Select all of them and click uninstall. Then reinstall the ADB driver again. Now on step 3. Open ADB folder. You'll get this folder in C drive. We've already installed the ADB driver on step 2. Now, connect your device to the computer with USB data cable and select file transfer. Go to settings of your device. Then go to about. Now scroll down and tap on the build number for 7 to 8 times to enable the developer options. Once it's done, go back, tap on system and here you'll have the developer options enabled. Now open it, scroll down and enable USB debugging. Do not disconnect your device. Now move on to PC. Open CMD in ADB folder by typing CMD in the address bar. Now type ADB devices and hit enter. You'll get a pop-up in your device. Allow it. To make sure that ADB setup is successful, type ADB devices again. Now you can see the device is authorized. So, your ADB setup is successful. Now the flashing process. As you guys can see, I've installed the MI flash tool in C drive and copied the extracted ROM files in it for easy access. You can place it anywhere you want. Now go to platform tools folder. Open CMD here. Type ADB devices. As you can see my device is connected. Now type ADB reboot bootloader. It will automatically reboot the device to fast boot mode. 
Do not disconnect your device. Now type Fastboot Devices in CMD. As you guys can see, it's showing a serial number. It means the device is connected. Now open the MI Flash tool. Click on Select. Locate your ROM file. Then select OK. Now click on refresh and as you guys can see it's showing a serial number that means the device is still connected in fast boot mode. Now, there are three more options here. Clean all is for clean flashing. Save user data is selected by default. It does almost the same as clean all but won't make a clean flash. Clean all and lock will clean flash the device and relock the bootloader. Select the option by your choice and click on flash. It will start flashing the device. After flashing is done. The device will reboot automatically. If it doesn't, then open the device manually by press and holding the power button. Now, how to do EDL? The process is same as normal flashing. Open CMD in Platform Tools folder and type the necessary commands. Now type fastboot OEM EDL. After typing fastboot OEM EDL, the device will turn off automatically from fastboot mode and the notification light will start blinking. Now open MI Flash tool. Select the extracted ROM file and click on refresh. As you can see, now the serial number is different. Now, I suggest to select the clean all option in EDL. You can relock the bootloader if you want but I will keep the device unlocked. Now click on flash. It will start flashing. As you can see the flashing is completed successfully. Once the flashing is done. Turn on the device manually by press and holding the power button.